So Sanoderm is a great product to use when healing a new tattoo. I always recommend people to try it out at least once or twice to see the benefits that it has because it just takes away literally every step in the aftercare and it makes it so much easier. But there has been one big concern for a lot of people out there and if you are watching this video right now this has probably just happened to you. And that is because it's an adhesive and it is stuck to your skin when you go ahead and remove and peel off the Sanoderm or second skin there is ink that is still stuck to it as well, which in terms you think is taking away ink from your tattoo. And this can honestly seem true because it has happened in many instances where I've went ahead and taken off my Sanoderm and there has been a full outline of my tattoo that is stuck on the sheet too. And then you kind of start wondering if your tattoo is damaged. You start asking yourself questions like, did this just rip out my ink from my new tattoo? Is it damaged in any way? Am I going to have to go ahead and get a touch up? You know, every bad thing starts running through your mind. Well, I will be the first to say that your tattoo is fine and you do not need to worry. But the better help explain this all and kind of put your mind at ease, I have a representative from Sanoderm here, like in my last couple of videos that I've done to help explain this better. What's up guys? Uh, my name is Reno. I'm a representative here at Sanoderm. You'll generally see me at trade shows or on the TikTok channel. One frequently asked question we have is pulling the bandage off. Will it damage your tattoo? Uh, there's leftover ink on the bandage. People see the outline of their tattoo. Often people think that it's pulling the tattoo out. Your tattoo is sitting three layers deep underneath your dermis layer in a little fatty cell, and it is actually impossible to rip it out of the skin unless you were to get into like an accident and get road rash or something that could damage and create scar tissue on top of it. Um, it'd have to be a very, very deep wound for that to happen. So what you're seeing on the bandage, that leftover residue, is actually dried blood and plasma and the residual ink that your body rejected in the healing process. And normally that would go into a scab, while Sanoderm being your you know, artificial scab. But yeah, to answer your question, it is not ripping anything out of your skin. That is almost physically impossible. So there you go. There is no need to worry or freak out. Your tattoo is fine. But I do want to say something else about this and that is to not blame the second skin for spots on your tattoo that are missing. But instead you need to understand it's more likely the artist that is to blame. The artist just didn't go deep enough when they were tattooing you in that certain area of the skin and it was just not deposited far enough where that needs to sit and stay and then in that it rejected it and because the skin is on it it kind of stuck to the skin in terms of other methods like you know traditional where it would have just fallen off and you wouldn't have noticed as much now i want you guys to do me a favor and that is let me know has this ever happened to you before where you've removed your second skin or sanitum and there's been a lot of ink stuck on it how did your tattoo heal was it totally fine or were there actually a lot of spots missing also if you have any other questions for reno the sanitum representative let me know in the comments section and i will go ahead and make a video answering that question and then finally go ahead and watch this video it is on how to properly remove sanitum the easiest and most painful free way and then this video in the case where you've removed it and you've had some adhesive residue left over this is the best way to go about removing it